Hi, I'm Legolock, a Legacy Locked Iron Man. I'm an RS3 player locked into the Legacy Combat Mode and the Legacy Interface, which means I can't use any abilities. I have quite big plans including, but not limited to, the Reaper Crew achievement, full best in slot gear, and even solo 100% Zamorak. I'm playing modern day RuneScape in an old school way. This will not be easy, but fortunately, I love a good challenge. I'm Legolock, and welcome to my journey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today, my goal is to actually knock out something I've been wanting to do for a while, and it's just kind of in the front of my mind constantly, and I wander around aimlessly until I do it, and that is get 90 construction for the Anachronia skill cape stand, and then also get 99 defense, so I can have the 99 defense cape passive active at all times. This will become a major handy at Raziel because there's plenty of times where I've died right before I finish the kill, and it feels horrible. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I hate this game. I am 176k away from 89 construction, and about 800k away from 97 defense. So this will probably be an all-day affair, but this is going to be benefiting me for the long run. And there is 89 construction, and that is the guardhouse tier 2. Apparently didn't have that, but now I do. And that brings us to 90 construction. That was actually pretty, pretty darn quick. And now let's go unlock the skill cape stand in Anachronia. Player Lodge tier three, huge. Let's go check it out. And here we go. Let's go ahead and test it out. See if it works. Oh yeah, of course it works. Of course it works. So that is the invention skill cape for right now. And now it's off to train 99 defense at Ravenous Ghouls. But another thing that is good about getting 90 construction is I've also unlocked a new ports adventure. So that's one of the many more that I need. And that is a nice level 100 invention. Heck yes, dude. One more level and I'll be able to boost to make the passage of the abyss. And there's 97 defense. Two more levels to go. 98 defense. There we go. The big 99 defense. Let's freaking go, dude. That is the best skill cape you could get as a professional planker like I. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the defense cape. Good old defense cape. Emotes. Obligatory emote. Oh, frick. I forgot. I <laughs> Dang it. I still have the aggression potion on. Oh, no. Everything's attacking me. Okay, now. Obligatory emote. Very defensive. Good, good. Now we have a passive sign of life. This will come in major handy. So just to see what I got from training that, I have 1900 congealed blood. So that's going to be quite a bit of... Uh, super necromancy potions, which I will in turn make into extreme necromancy potions, which also this stock of overloads pretty much came from a lot of the congealed blood earlier. So I'm glad I did those last few levels here. Now it's on to some more goals. And that's another 90 skill summoning. Probably going to stop for now and then just try and train when it's amlot hour so I can get the most experience out of my supplies. And that is 97 herb lore. Now we can make holy overloads and supreme overload potions without much issue. I really hope I needed to overload because I didn't even check. This is true power. Oh my gosh, my sign of life just came in clutch. That's why we got it, boys. Big, big, big experience drop moments. Four level 12 items puts us at level 101 and probably not level 102 now. But dude, we are so close to level 102. Actually, I can discover the Passage of the Abyss and quite a few other things, and I will definitely get 102. This is large because Passage of the Abyss is now possible in 16 more precious components. <sighs> what? Dude, no way. No way. No freaking way. I had no idea. That is so helpful because then I don't have to deal with him like spawning minions every single time. Join Holy us. crap. These kills just got a lot more consistent. Dude, I had no idea you could dodge that. What the frick? Dude, that is so weird. Oh, dude, I love that I can do that. Oh, that's so good. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I'm so excited that, about that. That's so good. Feels great. So cool. I can avoid all the mechanics if I'm paying attention. Oh, come on. Oh! 
1.2 seconds. Let's go. Starting off strong, baby. Oh, big PB, bro. Let's go. Massive. Oh, 3.6 seconds. Okay, maybe not that massive. It could have been quicker, though, if I spec'd earlier, bro. Dude, a 538.4. Let's go. Come on. PB, baby. 4.8 seconds. Dude. 533.6. I am just so freaking jacked. Oof, dude, that's good. I didn't know that was a Reaper. Reaper test streak. Heck yeah, dude. That puts us at 360 points. Ooh, and four more overload flasks. Nice. Let's go get our next Hydrix. Hydrix has been obtained, and I think this one is going to be a amulet. Oh, look at that. My main just got 120 construction. Let's go, dude. Once I get to 93, I could use stews to boost like I've been doing all my other bits of jewelry. So I have um, 145,000 experience till 91. I have plenty, plenty, plenty of just uncut gems and royal dragon hide and stuff. So I can probably boost up to 93 crafting. But for now, I shall see what my next assignment is. And it's a choice. It's going to be Raziel. And that is 93 crafting. What we can do now is we can boost to make ourselves the Amulet of Souls. So let's knock that out real quick. Oh, there we go. Let's go, dude. Hydrix Amulet coming in. Nice, dude. Oh, that's so good. Now all we got to do is enchant it. And there we have it, the Amulet of Souls. This is gonna be huge, dude. I have a 50% chance for Soul Split to heal 25 to 50% more, which will be better for sustain. And then that'll also be better for a little bit more Reaver DPS, so kind of minimal damage uh, there. But then also Protection Prayers and Deflection Curses will block an additional 10% more damage. So this doesn't stack with the Powders of Protection that I've been using, but what this means is I can save myself the time of getting more powders of protection whenever I'm able to use the Amulet of Souls. So, Reaper's Necklace, Amulet of Souls obtained, and our next Hydrix is probably going to go to the Ring of Death. I also figured this would be a good time to take the opportunity to augment my Tier 95 Rope Top, so I ended up making the Augmenter, and I've gotten the literally the same exact perks as I do on my Tier 90 Rope Top. So this will also make Razio a little bit, hopefully a little bit faster, but probably not by too much. Oh, look at this fresh new preset. We got the Amulet of Souls. We got the robe top on. We're looking good, man. And there's some hand wraps. Let's go, dude. Nice. That is another PB. 531.8. We take those. That's a nice 105 farming. We can now make mango bushes. I think I'm going to go with Death Dealer robe top for the increased death mark chance. And I think this might be my preset. Virtually the same as Raziel. All right, Legacy, 84. Um, Here we go, I guess. If you get one Zami kill, then you unlock the skip to it. So pretty much, it, this is almost like lossless progress. As long as I can like make it to a checkpoint and like open a door, it'll be saved every single time I go back in. So it's kind of kind of silly not to do this. Ideal drops that I can get from the adds in Zami are going to be the Accursed and Impious Ashes because fighting lesser demons and greater demons for those is a task. It takes quite a bit and I need those for incense sticks. Oh gosh, the water fiends. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> these things annihilated me <laughs> when I was first doing this. I'm probably going to have to get some uh, some restores at some point, aren't I? Unless I put on the Penance Aura at the end of this. I'll probably put on the Penance Aura. And I'm going to have to kill them all. Otherwise, they'll just rip me to bits. Just search. <laughs> True. <laughs> they don't aggro if you run fast. I don't know if these legs can move fast enough. These legs are a little too small for that, I think. Bro, the amount of time I spent trying to figure out where to go <laughs> from here when I was first doing this dungeon is unreal. 
I had no idea that you could run through this freaking sewer tunnel. It was not obvious to me at all. <laughs> Gotta love how you can just like jump up the stairs. Gotta love it. Yeah, I mean, so far this isn't really as hard as I thought. I feel like a lot of the times things get hard because I just try and brute force everything. But when you kind of take your time with it, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> I mean, I say that now, but then when I get to like the next two levels, everything mobs you all at once. So I might eat my words in like two seconds. Gosh, these savages take five years. All right, not too shabby. So far, so good. All right, boys, here's where I'm about to get totally mobbed. Go ahead and put on the Penance Aura. Oh, the, oh my gosh, the Life Weaver, dude. Has so much HP. There we go. Okay, so far so good. As long as I can open these doors and get checkpoints, then if I were to, like, leave the dungeon and come back in, then they'll disappear. So, yep, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. I'll probably clear these guys up here real quick, too. Probably not a bad idea to do that. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, as long as I just take it bit by bit, I should be okay. A cultist, ritual keeper, ritual keeper. I'll let that guy just hang out there for a second. There we go. Oh! A door opened <laughs> before I thought it would. Okay. Nuke one of these. Oh, frick. I just realized the Jailer can spawn a freaking ton of rangers. Oh, no. This is actually going to be super hard. Gorts! Gorts! Oh, gosh. This is going to be... Okay, sweet. He teleported. Okay, that wasn't too bad then. I may have to actually clear these guys, though. I don't know. There we go. That's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, I think I'm going to wait for my spec to come back. Or should I? I don't know. I feel like it would be good to wait. So I only need to do so much damage. I really don't need to do that much. I guess I can kind of like kite him, huh? Gorts. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Holy. Bro, that's a lot. A lot of rangers. They're all hitting zeros, though. So. Okay. That wasn't too bad, actually. Sweet, and then those guys did not follow me, so that's good stuff. Hey, that's a lot of wizards. Okay, I'm like right here. They don't e they don't even sense me. Okay, these guys are pre <laughs> pretty darn oblivious. Holy, 56 large blunt rune salvage. That is <laughs> insane, Alex, bro. Okay, honestly, jailer was not that bad. I honestly thought he was gonna hit a lot more. Oh, and then I forgot. I probably I may have death marked him at this point, so he might he might go bye bye in a second. Yeah, adios. Gorts. All right, I can actually ignore these guys. Heck yeah, jailer is done, boys. How hard is Legacy to play? It's really not hard. It does take a little bit of getting used to. Like if you're using the Legacy interface, like I am, and it does take some getting used to it, like flip between your F one through five. But I mean. Once you get used to it, it's it's easier. But I would say it's it's it can be a challenge in some ways. It really depends. But most things, I would say it takes a lot of like the complication out of a lot of encounters because you don't have to like focus on doing a a rotation or anything and it makes you just like actually realize the boss's mechanics are just auto attacks and then a special attack every once in a while. But you are limited in some things like 
for bosses that have stuns, you can't break your stuns as easily. You need to have the pitch can from Charge Training Grounds, and that requires 91 fire making. And then you need to actually get the pitch can. And then, I mean, I guess you could buy it, but uh, at that point, you need that to uh, to one tick light fires. So it's just weird workarounds. But I mean, some things are easier, some things are harder. But everything just takes longer. So you have to, you kind of, it's everything's just kind of like sustaining. The way that I would kind of like compare it is like you could do Virago in a group, or you could solo it. And I would say like. A legacy is like choosing to solo Virago. It's like that variant of doing bosses. Not every boss is like Virago, but you know what I mean. Just, you know, in a parallel sense. There we go. All right. See, can I just get like one witch instead of all of them? There we go. Okay. Three should be fine. Think. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of line of sight these mobs pretty, uh, pretty, pretty easily, I would say. Can I sneak past these guys and just go deactivate the thing? I think I can, yeah. Freaking get activated, Corrupted Ward. And then I shall teleport out. Unfortunate that I haven't had a single Lucky Charm proc this entire time, though. I didn't get 44 of these things. For nothing. Ooh, the Infernus Pyro class. I forgot about those. Those are actually major. Holy runes as well. Also potions? What? Oh my gosh. This is good for super potions. What the frick? All right. Wish me luck here, boys. I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm a tad nerve. Ooh, Crystal Chaos. Let's go. That's good. Crystal Comps. How much health? I don't know how much health she has. All right. All right, boys. Wish me some luck. No, you will not interfere. The portal must remain open at all costs. Oh. Wait, she doesn't have that much health. 15,000? I feel like I'm going to proc her phases really darn quick. Yeah, I mean, so far, so good. This isn't too bad. I thought things were going to hit a lot harder, if I'm to be honest. I think also just kind of starting off with Raziel, it put me at like a higher expectation for certain things. Maybe Zamorak will probably... I, I feel like Zamorak's going to be harder than I imagined. But. but maybe not at the same time. I don't really know. Hard to gauge, I guess. All right, that was <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But okay, sick. That is the witch done. Easy peasy. Oh, I guess these just didn't render in. Okay. I was like, did it snow in here? What the frick's going on? <laughs> Snows in the underworld? Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. Read this if you're a beautiful person and meant a lot to me. I mean, oh, what's up, pride? Oh, wait, that was a boss? I didn't... Honestly, I had no idea that this was considered a boss. I didn't know that this gave you Dungeoneering tokens. Hello? I honestly thought this was going to take me... Like, I thought I was going to struggle a lot more. But I'm honestly just clicking and waiting. Which is pretty common with Legacy. But, all right. Dude, this is... This is the moment, actually. This is where it's going to get a lot harder, I would say. 